Hi, I'm Kate from Evolve Holistic Healing. I'm a master crystal therapist and today's going to be the first of nine tutorials where I talk individually about the nine main chakras that I work with. Now you're probably familiar with the seven main chakras, these are quite well known. Um, however, there are two extra chakras that I work with in crystal healing and today we're going to start with the Earth Star Chakra, which is one that you may not have heard of before. So when we're working with the chakras and placing crystals on the chakras, it's always a good idea to place the crystal exactly over the chakra point where possible. Um, sometimes that isn't possible because of space constraints or because of privacy issues on the body. Um, and this is one of those chakras that can be a little bit tricky. It does actually start at the base of the feet and extend out by around six inches. Now, if you're working on a standard massage table, you're not probably going to have six inches six inches of extra space um, beneath your client's feet. So placing crystals either just under the Achilles or just at the soles of the feet or even in between the ankles is going to be fine for working with this chakra. So all chakras have a color that's associated with them. The Earth Star Chakra is represented by the color black or brown. This also corresponds to the crystals that are most commonly used to work with at that chakra area. So what I'm going to do for this tutorial and for each subsequent one is actually run through with you the, the name of the chakra, the location of the chakra, the color association, um, the, the types of crystals, some of my favorite crystals that I love to use on that chakra point. Um, some of the symptomatic representations you might get if that chakra is blocked or um, not functioning optimally, um, as well as some um, alternative treatment methods. So I am a crystal therapist Therapist, but I also work with transpersonal counseling and healing techniques. So I've got a few other suggestions for you to work with each chakra point if you are trying to work through blockage and just to get it functioning really well again. So the Earth Star Chakra is actually really, really important because it connects us to everything that ever was, not only our personal history from through our ancestral line, but our universal history. So through the eons of time, it's really, really essential um, that this chakra is functioning really well uh, to help you keep grounded, to help you maintain that connection with who you are and where you've come from and your whole personal history. So symptoms that you may be experiencing if this chakra has uh, become disconnected or is blocked or it's not functioning very well would be feelings of being quite ungrounded or lost, um, feelings of confusion, you may be unfocused, um, you may be unsure of your life path and direction, um, you may feel disconnection from your own personal path or disassociation from uh, your family or cultural identity. Um, you may also have sensitive feet, so this symptomatically comes up in, um, from a physical point of view in the feet. Uh, you may have really high arches, which is a drawing away from that earthing grounding energy. People with flatter feet do tend to be more grounded because they've, they've got more of a maintained connection, earth connection. Um, and you may also have sensitive feet, so um, things like irritation or you may find it challenging to work, walk barefoot, uh, things like that. That's how a disruption to this chakra might manifest symptomatically in the body. So crystals that are really good to treat the Earth, uh, the Earth Star Chakra. Um, I'll start with my favorite is Orthoceros, also known as Orthoceros. Uh, it's actually like a prehistoric squid. It's about 60 million years old. And the reason why I absolutely love working with fossils for the Earth Star is because that is a chakra connecting you to everything that your entire history, your entire, your entire Earth history. A fossil encapsulates that. This was once a living animal. It's millions of years old. It holds generations upon generations of history and evolution. And so by working with this, it, it acts as a direct time link connecting you to your entire history and, um, and the history of evolution, really. Evolution physically, but as well as conscious, the evolution of consciousness. Um, fossils are also really good because this is actually a preserved dead being. It once was living and, and its physical body has died. Now death is inevitable for all of us. Uh, that may be challenging for a lot of people to actually come to terms with. So fossils are really wonderful to work with 
to help overcome uh, fear of the unknown um, and things that are inevitable like death, like change and transition, like aging. Uh, these are all things that are going to happen to us regardless of whether we want them to or not. Um, so fossils really help us connect with that and understand it and embrace it. Um, they also are they're very grounding obviously so this has been buried in the earth for millions upon millions of years it's very strong in earth energy so that's why orthoceros and some other fossils are really um, my top pick for working with the uh, the earth star chakra A couple of other crystals that are really good for working at the earth star chakra are hematite I've got a, a hematite cabochon here. Um, you've got black obsidian, um, black tourmaline, smoky quartz, basically any of the uh, volcanic stones, um, as well as any brown or black colored stones. So really dark colored agates and are really rich in earth energy. Um, so you can work with any of those at the earth star chakra. And finally, if you're looking for some extra healing uh, to give that chakra area, some really great ideas for working with the Earth Star Chakra include walking around bare feet. So just going to the beach, sinking your feet in the sand and really connecting and grounding down into that earth energy, casting your thoughts back to your own family line, um, you know, letting yourself drift away with those thoughts about, you know, where, how the earth started um, with your feet firmly planted in the ground. That's really wonderful to connect, for, to help you connect to your foundation as a human being. You've also got things like gardening is really great for grounding and earthing, eating root vegetables. So that's actually transfer that earth energy vegetables that were grown in the earth and held by mother earth and then ingesting that directly especially if it's straight from farm to plate and hasn't spent very much time in the open air on the shelves you're going to get a really wonderful dose of beautiful earth energy so that concludes the first little tutorial. They're only very short, all about the Earth Star Chakra. If you'd love to learn more or find out um, more about what I do, or even if you'd like to study with me, please visit my website, www.evolvehealing.net. Um, I offer my transpersonal crystal healing courses globally. I have students all around the world, and I love hearing from everyone. So please you feel free to send me an email as well, kate at evolvehealing.net. Thank you.